Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And tonight we are trying out 8 East here at Circa for the first time. We heard a lot of good hype about it. Oh man, have we heard so much and it's been on our list since it opened. So I'm excited to try this one out. Yeah, get ready for some over ordering. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, with the ground pork, right? Yeah, I will tell you, the food is flying out of the flying kitchen. Out. Holy crap. Um, Dan Dan noodles with pork. We did the Vital Vegas style. Um, if, if you follow anything Las Vegas Twitter, you already know about brisket fried rice with chicken skewers. Holy Moses. That stuff is so good. Those noodles are like perfectly cooked. There's a nice heat on it. Um, we did get this recommendation from uh, some of our members, actually. Yeah. I'm going to bring this over so we can look at it while she eats it. It's spicy. The noodles are perfectly cooked. The pork is so fresh. And those vegetables are just amazing. So tasty. It looks good. Wait is it try hot? That. It's got a kick to it, yeah. I can see some bok choy in there. Yeah, it's really good. All and right. then we got some crispy chicken skins. I'll give that a try, too. That's like the best part of fried chicken right there. Oh my god. Alright, so as I said, this flute is flying out of here. We actually had three more dishes arrive. Um, first up is the one that I was talking about. It was a brisket fried rice, which we added chicken skewers, which like I said, if you follow anything on Las Vegas Twitter, you probably follow Vital Vegas. They actually called it the Vital Vegas. Yeah, they did. They he raves about it all the time. Um, never had it before. Although I've heard that the brisket fried rice you can get over in the high limit room. Oh. It's very good. Uh, very moist. Not not like soupy or watery, but a lot of times fried rice can be a little bit almost dry. Very good flavor in it. The meat is uh, very moist. Um, I have not had the chicken yet. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. Oh, he's taking a bite of that. I'm gonna tell you, these little chicken crispies are like truly the best part of fried chicken. I absolutely love them. They're almost what I would call like the crunchies of fried chicken. So good. So I do believe that the chicken is fried chicken thighs. Leads to very moist meat. I love it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. These are the pan fried short rib dumplings. Um, I saw the short rib on the menu short rib dumpling and he our waiter recommended the uh, pan fried versus steamed so that's where you get a little bit of crisp on the bottom oh that's different a little bit more heat than I was expecting like spicy mm -hmm. wow okay you can see some like red spice on the plate I'm not exactly sure what it is if I can figure it out I'll definitely put it down below a little bit of a mayo sauce to go with it it's really good. The, the uh, wrapper is not too thick. It adds a little bit of bite to it. Uh, I'm going to make you try this next, too, because this was a oh boy. another order. <laughs> so we do have a friend of ours with us today, um, and he actually ordered the lobster fried rice. I'm not going to go too far into this. I don't want to take all the good stuff, but I'll take a little bite of it. That way he gets That's all the good stuff. That's a big you know? old chunk of lobster on there too. Yeah, like there's two claws in there you can see. It is really good. Um, you can definitely tell, you know, it's it actually has a different flavor to it, which you would think. That's what I was going to ask. Can you tell a difference between the You would the think they'd be and... almost similar, but the fact that it's seafood versus beef, you actually can get a different bite to it. Good. And I, 
I enjoy both of them. You know, they, they really add a different flavor profile. Awesome. All right, so final dish, I think, at the moment has come out. It's the ribeye. <laughs> yeah. They do serve it. Look, um, look at this table, by the way. Yeah, oh, my crazy. God. It's crazy. It is cooked to temperature of your choice. Um, sliced for sharing is how they um, yep. recommend it. It this looks was... perfectly cooked for medium rare, which is how we like it. What is on there? That steak just melts in your mouth. But there's something sweet. Mm. I don't know. This was a special, um, so it's, we actually don't have a menu in front of us of this one. So you can definitely taste the char marks on there, which I think is fantastic. The best part about there is, I don't know what is on that as seasoning, but there's a sweetness to it. that is different than any other steak I've tried. And I'm really enjoying that piece of it itself. Yeah, I'm trying to look, and uh, it's like the butcher's cut of the day. So we don't really know what it's all seasoned with, but. I can't tell you what it's seasoned with. Is there a little I mean, bit of heat to it? No, and no. That, that's what's different to it. I can truly taste the char marks. It's a very tender steak. There's a little bit of salt on there, but there's a sweetness to it that I've not tasted on a steak before that I'm really enjoying on it. And honestly, all this came out and we've been here less than 30 minutes. Yeah, it's our insane. reservation was 7.30. It's 7.31 right now. Our reservation was and 7. Look yeah. at this table. It's nuts. <laughs> this is probably, like, I can't believe how fast this come out. The service here is excellent. I would already, and we haven't even finished, I'd highly recommend this place. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right because rachel uh decided we have to have dessert even after all that food there's always room for dessert yes so thai tea creme brulee and it is like that is hard yeah i got a video of the guy making it oh oh god that and looks we good we love thai tea so and we love creme brulee uh -huh. Yeah. So good. So good. The caramelized topping is just perfect. And it's actually thicker than most creme brulees I've had. And it truly tastes like a warm Thai tea. Usually we get iced Thai teas, but that is so good. Oh man, that is pretty thick. I'm gonna go ahead and try it too. I don't know what this here. is though. I don't either. You try it. I don't know oh. that I should. It looks like a lychee, actually. Oh, okay. Okay, I really like that, um, the brulee part. It is really thick, actually. That's a lychee, yeah. And like, look at this. Like, that is that's a lot very right thick. there. Yeah. But that's delicious. Mm -hmm. A little trick, if you want to have the brisket fried rice from 8 East, go into the high limit room during regular hours and you can get some. It doesn't have chicken skewers, but that is 8 East brisket fried rice, I believe. All right, we just wrapped up here at 8 East. My God, why did we wait to come here? I agree. What took us so long to get here? It yeah. was freaking delicious. Um, tons of dishes. Thank you to Kelly for coming with us. Yeah, uh, a friend of mine. <laughs> yeah, um, who I've known since grade school, and that's, Honestly, why we were able to try so many different dishes, it yeah. was it was great. I would call this fast casual because we, it's truly, we've been here right over an hour and that's, we've been done for a while just right. chatting. And we had like six, seven dishes plus yeah. a dessert plus drinks. Um, overall, great. What did you think was your best bite? My uh, best. Uh, uh, before I say that, I don't think we thought any bite was bad. No, no, no. And All I, bites were good. Yeah, I said this earlier as we were talking about it. I would order every single one of them again. Yes. Um, but the thing, even cold or room temperature chilled down, the steak, hands down, my favorite bite. That was so tender. It had such a sweet soyish flavor, so it gave that sweet and salty. And also had a little bit of heat on it with some chili type flakes, yeah. I think they said with it. The My steak goodness, really had like so every flavor profile mm -hmm. represented and it was yeah. really good. And I was saying to Rachel, what was crazy is like it had a really good sear on it, which yeah. it looks wet. Yeah. Um, and it the plate is covered in sauce and stuff. And so you wouldn't think that it would hold, but it was great. It held up so For good. For me though, I like the Dan Dan noodles. Those Dan Dan noodles were so good too. They were delicious. Like I'm telling you, oh, but we can't leave out the last one. That Thai tea creme brulee. 
delicious. Might be the best creme brulee I've ever had. Yeah, it was like so the good. the thickness of the um, the sugar, like on, the sugar top on top was so good. Yeah. Overall, amazing meal, and thank you to Jerry. He was a wonderful server. Absolutely. How much was it? Price like wise, it was two twenty for yeah. the three of us pre tip. Yeah. Um, that's so that's after tax. I mean, that's pretty great. If you guys have followed us, you know that we've spent ridiculous amounts of money before, and I. I love this meal and the price was good. I'd highly recommend. If you're in the area, you got to try this place out. Yep. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you.